By a vote of 5 to 1, the Bemidji School Board has ruled that all 5,000 students and 800 staff members in the Bemidji School District will need to wear masks in all school buildings, and that includes uh, visitors as well. Uh, that comes uh, following a statement from the chief medical officer at uh, Sanford, Dr. Wilcox, saying uh, their IC unit is, ICU unit is uh, full today. If you have not yet finalized your safety plans, please include masking to safely allow our students to return to school. If you have decided against masking, we are asking you to consider your choice and follow, the, excuse me, to reconsider your choice and to follow the recommendations made by the CDC and the Minnesota Department of Health. Uh, this comes from me as the Chief Medical Officer of Sanford Health, from the Vice President of our clinics, another clinician, uh, Dr. Swank, who's a pediatrician, uh, and from Sanford leadership uh, as a whole. Now, before their vote, uh, school board members said uh, they received a lot of input from uh, parents uh, regarding masking. They said it, said it was split about 50-50, half for it and half against it. Uh, here's a couple of those uh, comments from the public uh, before this evening's vote. I know we can't mask our way over COVID. That happens by herd immunity and FDA-approved vaccinations. I'm a combat vet, and I've seen a lack of human rights in other countries like Iraq and Afghanistan. This is a first world country, and this is a first world problem. It's the least we can do. It's a layer of protection. Please do right by our kids by mandating masks to help keep them safe and in school. Thank you. I ask you today, significantly, when you make your decisions, don't allow it to be based on fear. Please. The truth is, the truth is, unless one of you here today have been a hermit for the last 20 months, you have been exposed to the virus. You know what the good news is? You can take those masks off because you're alive, I think, and we're living and we're breathing. With that, the uh, board passed a resolution that students, staff, and visitors must all mask up, at least for now, in any uh, school district building. So, um, once again, this is a resolution, and this is um, managed by Carol Peterson, and um, she will ask each individual to vote on that resolution, inclusive of the amendments. Hack? Yes. Young? Yes. Warren? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Lind? No. Longbuchner? Yes. So that motion passes and it was a five to one vote. So we will proceed with resolution number one as our direction for now. We recognize that conditions are changing not on a daily basis, but in a but in a in a in a timeline that's recognized by um, people that uh, whose job is it is to follow that. <laughs> so thank you, Dr. Wilcox, for your time with us and your in your um, answering our questions, and I, we appreciate your work. Is there anything else? Jeff? Although I voted no, I support the the work of the board. Thank you, thank you. And I think that that is a strength of this board and I really appreciate your, you and everybody else that does that. We all do that on occasion. We may not um, agree with everything that was within a resolution or within a vote, um, but I think about it as I can live with that. <laughs>